Is your backyard boring? Well, why let all that space go to waste? Why not eat your backyard? Eat Your Backyard is my YouTube channel, where I show you how to turn your backyard into an interesting and delicious place. Over the years, I've experimented with growing all kinds of tropical and subtropical edible plants. On Eat Your Backyard, I share this knowledge with you. It really doesn't have to be that hard growing your own delicious fruit. In fact, I believe it should be fun and easy. The end result should be a beautiful yard that you can share and enjoy with your friends and family. So come on by and check out Eat Your Backyard. See some of our how-to videos on everything from mulberries to mangoes. You might get some good ideas or even give me some good ideas. So remember, Eat Your Backyard. Your place to get ideas for how to turn your backyard into an edible paradise. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe. That way you'll be notified as new videos are made. Alright, thanks for watching. Welcome to Eat Your Backyard. Hey, I'm going to tell you about a plant I have a love-hate relationship with. And that by that I mean I currently love to hate it. And that's the oyster plant. Now there's two types of oyster plant. There's this type. And you notice it's, it's kind of it's interesting, right? Because that's well, totally poisonous, but it, it has this purple underside to it and it has this green top side to it. If you plant it together, you can you can take off uh, the little ones and you know it just breaks apart very easily. You see it just comes apart super easy. I can just pull that out easily with my hand. And you can stick it in the ground and in Florida it's going to grow every time. And before you know it, you, before you know it, you have a thick la layer of it. Now, you know, this here kind of doesn't look good at all. You know, I'm going to get rid of this and replace it with mulch, a thick layer of mulch. But that's kind of what happens. It just grows in and chokes everything out, which is what you want a ground cover to do. But then it grows over stuff and it's a constant maintenance thing. It also just expands like crazy. It gets these little flowers that'll grow. Now there's another type. I'm in the process of wiping out like the hand of God everything which irritates me in my yard and replacing it with things I truly love. This is a bigger type of croton. I mean, I'm sorry, not croton, of uh, oyster plant. And it's got the same thing. It's got the green leaves and the purple on the back, but oh boy, look. I'm gonna get bit by a spider in this video. Look at this. What the heck is that thing? Um, it's got a Black Widow spider inside it. Let's see. Ah! No, it doesn't. But what it does have is little seeds. Oh, yes. And they will drop and they will spread. And before you know it, you have these gigantic things everywhere. And uh, they don't really look that great. They kind of look like gigantic aloe plants, but with no use at all. So, you know, I I'm kind of over it and I'm wiping them out. So, that's my story tale of my experience with oyster plants. At one point I loved them, now I hate them. <laughs> but the good news is they're easy to get rid of. You just need probably point, one point and probably need two huge yard waste containers to fit them all. But uh, if I ever rekindle my love of oyster plants I can easily repopulate my yard with them uh, to the point of, of irritation again. So that's my advice to you. If you need a plant to cover up a big area, you know, maybe that's not a bad option, but uh, just realize they're really not that interesting. They're super common and they are going to spread like crazy. Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to like it. If you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe to Eat Your Backyard. Uh, don't eat the oyster plant because you'll probably die.